All right, Pisces, we're going to get your reading going today. We're going to see who's crushing on you or who you are crushing on. The energy surrounding this. I do see, though, that you're being very logical when it comes to offers. What you're taking, you only want stable offers. You want good offers. You don't want these one little cups. I want the ten of cups. I want it all. And if you can't offer something, don't offer it at all. That's what I'm getting from your energy. No players welcome, unless we're playing in money. That's about it. <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of self-reflection on your part. A lot of self-reflection. There could be somebody in your environment or somebody that's wanting to communicate with you right now, possibly collaborate in some sense, form, or fashion. Again, for each of you, it's going to be different. But there is somebody in your environment that's wanting to collaborate with you. And I feel like you're, again, looking at this very logically. Can this person offer me something that I see valuable, that I feel like is worth offering, or are they just page of cups in it? What's the current moment for Pisces in the secret crush? Current moment, not a wand. Someone could be in a little defensive energy, a little guarded, standoffish, and there could be something that's hidden. A lot going on behind the scenes that you don't know about. That's the current moment. Huh. Huh. I don't feel like these secrets are bad. I just, yeah, somebody's got something going on that they ain't telling you about. Somebody could be walking away from something right now. They could decide to do it very quickly, swiftly. So there could be somebody in your environment, Pisces, or someone you're around that's wanting to leave someone that they're with swiftly. In current moment is that you could definitely not know what's going on. Someone here is choosing a path, wanting to bring some sort of balance. They could be with somebody that they fight with. Where it's just not a, a, do you know what I'm picking up? Have y'all ever been in a relationship where you don't want to go home? Like, you're off of work, it's been a hell of a day, but the last place you want to go is home. Because there's arguing, bickering, there's just baloney. There's bullshit and baloney you're going to have to deal with. I feel like that could be something that this person is in. So there's somebody around you or fisting to be around you. You could either be crushing on them, they could be crushing on you. They're wanting to let something go. They're tired of it. They're tired of the drama, the arguing, the bickering, the conflict. But it's like you're looking at this like, but can they offer me what I want though? Some of you could know that this person's with somebody and you're like, mm, don't come over here offering me nothing unless you are single as a Pringle, please. That could be some of you. I'm picking up on that sassy energy. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, that's interesting. So, current moment, yeah. But somebody here is wanting to celebrate and have some sort of fun with you. But I feel like for some of you Pisces, again, take what resonates. They know that you want something stable and you're not going to just invest in something that's passion and throwing you in something that isn't going to be fulfilling. So, if they are with somebody, they know that they're going to have to separate because you're not willing to put yourself in a third party. That's what I'm picking up on. You're willing to have fun. You're willing to go out, but you want something stable. You want something grounded. You want a real offer, and you don't mind to wait as long as it's something stable. That's interesting. So, how do they view Pisces? I just heard a fighter. They view you as a fighter. So, we can take this two ways. You could be literally confrontational with people, like, I will fight you, or... They view you as someone who's really good at moving forward from rocky seasons. They move you. They move you. Oh, Pisces, you could move them. And I don't mean physically like help them move. You could. But I feel like you could move them with how strong you are, how easy it is. I don't want to say easy because sometimes we can hide the things that we're going through and make it seem like it's easy. But Pisces, there's been seasons and things that you've been through that you've made choices and it seemed like it was graceful you were very graceful in that time y'all I can't use my words you're brave you're strong you move from seasons that only serve you to learn lessons and to build yourself from and you push forward knowing that things are going to get better that's how they view you in this connection they also see it as something that come in very unexpectedly again this could have shook up their whole life because if they're definitely with somebody or investing with somebody or having their eye on somebody completely different, you could have come in and definitely crumbled something that they thought was sturdy, something that they thought was there forever and realized maybe it just isn't. 
and it's followed by the King of Cups. So definitely a lot of emotion, maybe a lot of emotion that they didn't see actually coming. And that's how they view this connection. I always, the tower, every time I see this, the first song I think of is um, Molly Cyrus, Wrecking Ball. Like, you literally came in like a wrecking ball and crumbled everything for this person. And I don't feel like it's necessarily in a bad way. It needed to happen. But they needed to realize that in some sense, form or fashion, they were settling. And like I said, on my energy I picked up in the beginning, I was getting strong energy of, I don't want to go home. So this could be somebody that you know. Maybe you work with this person. Who flipping knows? Or you always go to the coffee shop and this person's there. And you're like, dude, you work seven hours a day, 14 days a week. I mean, I'm, excuse me. Hold on. Let's flip that. <laughs> 18 hours a day, seven days a week. What the heck? Well, what you don't know is that the reason that they work that much is because they don't want to go home. They don't want to go deal with the baloney and the stuff that they have at home. I feel like for some of you, whoever they're with, I don't want to say it could be a handful, but I'm picking up on the energy of it. Just It's one thing after another, after another, after another. This person can't win. This person can't win. Look, and as I said that, Look what I just pulled from the deck. That's what I'm getting. They could have a baby mama, baby daddy, somebody that they once put on a pedestal. I feel like they're starting to realize that maybe it's a karmic or it's someone that's here to teach them a lesson. It's someone that's very toxic to them, someone that's holding them down. And this person has very toxic ways of thinking and being. I feel like they could be very, mm, I'm going to say it, a little manipulative as well. And I'm getting that they could be manipulative with the children. I'm just throwing that out there. But I do see something happening here where they could have definitely gave this person maybe a second chance or things had fell apart and they decided to work it out. It didn't work out. They're feeling left out. They're feeling unfulfilled. And they know that some sort of change and transformation needs to happen. It's time for a death to occur. Not literally, but it's time for that energy to be purged and for that to be done. And they know that they're going to be very defensive to make this happen. But I feel like, again, you're the end prize. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Um, how do they view Pisces? Even though I feel like we just went through that. I feel like they could also view you as someone who's scared. I feel like they're scared that you could be the same. Maybe you're trying to trick them to be like something you're not. I don't know. They're paying very close attention to you. They don't want to be betrayed or tricked. I just heard again. But they also see you as someone who could definitely be scared. Scared of maybe investing, investing in this, being a little skittish. Hmm. What's the near future energy between Pisces and this crush? Ooh, my Lana, we have the Nine of Cups. So someone asking you out, someone asking you on a date. This could be going out, having drinks together, having fun, enjoying each other. I see two people eating Mexican food. Heck yeah. Laughing. There's nothing like some good Mexican food. <laughs> But that's what I see, and that's that near future energy, enjoying each other's company. Them needing to choose a path. Are they going to ask you out, or are they going to continue to go down a path that they feel unfulfilled, like they're getting sad and disappointed? Yeah. I feel like you guys are going to have a conversation in the future about building something stable, both of you being patient. I'm seeing a lot of conversations between you both about what you're wanting. What are you wanting from your future? This is what I'm wanting. Being very open, honest, and taking time. Taking time. So I see you going on multiple dates with this person in the near future. I mean, we're talking 9, 10, 11 times going out to eat, sitting, laughing, talking. <coughs> Somebody could like wine. <clears throat> Specifically red wine. It's interesting because I picked up on, if you like red wine, if you're a woman and you like red wine, they view you as someone who's sophisticated. And that intrigues them as well. Because I feel like, again, the person that they've been dealing with and now you, y'all are different, which is why they observe you. They're scared that you could be trying to trick them into making them believe that you're one way when you're not. Maybe you're this really foxy, sneaky energy, and it isn't going to be until it's too late for them to realize how you truly are. I don't feel like you are. I feel like you're a little skittish. You're not sure what you want. You want to make sure somebody's going to invest wholeheartedly how they should or don't invest in all, or don't invest in all at all. I feel like some of you could definitely have some sort of backstabbings or betrayals under your belt. 
I mean, that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing some swords under someone's belt. Like I have, I've got a past a past full and I don't want my past being my future anymore so I'm going to be very cautious about who I invest with and the secret crush knows that so again I feel like they also know that you're not going to invest if they're investing with other people and there's things going on behind the scenes that you don't know about so let's just say that they're wanting to bring some sort of balance between y'all very interesting what does Pisces not see about this person what does Pisces not see about this person you know it's interesting this popped out and the first thing I heard in my ear I literally heard it and it made me jump because it scared me they're willing to water the grass to make it greener you don't see that this person's willing to make commitments and relationships work they're a giver they're willing to put in the effort I feel like you could feel a type of way about this person and maybe not see them how they are with that moon in the current moment because there's a lot you don't know they're not pouring their heart out to you they're not telling you everything that they're going through you're feeling a little confused you're feeling like you could be missing something um like mm, why do they not tell me things like <laughs> it's just it's a weird energy is kind of what i'm getting things are going to unfold and you're going to understand things are happening in divine timing i feel like again things are going to go slowly but i feel like it's going to work to your benefit but again, what you don't see is that this person is the kind of person who's willing to invest and work and water a relationship and a connection. They're willing to sit there and try to understand you. What makes you tick? What do you enjoy? Why do you enjoy that? And some of you, I feel like you've never dealt with someone like that who really actually wanted to get to know you and not the things that you could offer them or the things that you could do to make them happy. And we know in all ways that I'm meaning sexual, emotional, financial, all of them. And it's insane to me because this person already has so much emotion for you. And this is just a secret crush reading. So mm, imagine how it's going to be when you guys are in a connection. Again, I feel like this is someone who wants to understand you more. Yeah. But, and they see you as someone who is a match to them. But they also see you as someone who could be going through a lot right now. You could have some sort of sadness or disappointment going on. You could have a lot on your shoulders. For some of you, they could be someone in your environment who has heard your stories about disappointments, dealing with players and people who aren't staying. This could be somebody that you vented to. I'm just going to throw that out there. They can actually know about your past and the people that you've invested with in and how it didn't work and how they would go in and out and how they were flaky or players or only wanting to use and how much that disappointed you and just tore you down. Again, they see you differently. They see you as equal to them, as someone who they, if they invest, things would really work to them. I'm seeing the seven of pentacles. So things could be very fruitful between y'all. I'm getting equal energy in this connection, and I'm, I'm loving that because I'm getting that they see you as someone who would match their energy and their effort, and you will, you will, you would, absolutely. Y'all could have an amazing life together. I'm seeing financially, okay? That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing financially, like a house with a three-car garage, acres, like financially. <laughs> I don't know if that's just for one person specifically, but literally, I just heard that song, I'm a hustle, baby, start playing in my head. One of you could definitely, or both of you could be straight up hustlers. Yeah, practical, grounded, stable, emotional, nurturing. Mm. Let's get some of what they're thinking and feeling. I'm, I'm a little speechless. I don't know what's going on with me today. What do we got? What do we got for this person? This secret crush. So I still have feelings for you. That one wanted to pop out. I can be myself with you. Yeah. So again, I've said, I feel like this is somebody you've been into. You've told this person some things from your past that just did not work out. And you've grown a lot from it. You are the person that you are today because of those heartbreaks, those disappointments. The people who didn't give you... Nothing, but you gave them everything when they didn't deserve nothing from you. Nothing from you. You could be having someone coming back in asking if they have a second chance as well. I'm seeing that energy, so that could definitely be coming in for you. Yeah, I find you so attractive. Again, it, what did I say? Didn't I say at the beginning that they admire you? Yeah. 
And it's like when this person isn't around you, they miss being with you. You've triggered something in this person, Pisces, that you don't even see that you've triggered. You've made them realize how unhappy they are in their environment. And because of that, they're changing it. Making changes that you don't even know about. They're literally going to war. I just had this perfume smell. It literally just smacks me in the flipping face. So one of you could be wearing like some sort of flowery perfume. That's very interesting. I don't have any perfume in here. Wow. Okay. Um, so that can resonate for you. But like I said, this person admires you. I was on a tangent. Oh, but you, this person could definitely be going at war with somebody in their environment. It could be a female with that smell that I just smelled because it smelled like a straight up female. They could be going to war with this person and admiring how strong you are. And because you're that strong, you're giving them strength. You're giving them strength to stand their ground, defend what they're wanting for their future. Because maybe before you, they didn't see that being possible. Yeah, wait, the timing isn't right. Some of you could feel like this is just a strictly sexual connection. I don't feel like it is, but I do, again, see that. That somebody could be definitely scared that something's just sexual. And it's like, I'm not investing in this at all. And I feel like this person, it took them unexpectedly with how easy it is for them to be their self with you. How easy it is for them to open up, have conversations. Again, I'm getting, it's intense for them. Yeah, release and need, see, that's what I'm getting. They're releasing something right now. And it could have been after a time of go, going back to something. I feel like they gave someone a second chance or decided to, I'm going to say settle because that's what it is. Usually when you're going back for a second chance, nine times out of 10, they ain't changed and you settling. That's just me. Y'all can judge me. It's fine. But I feel like whatever it is, they went back, they realized how unfulfilled they were, and they decided, okay, you know what? I have got to change something. And they went through some sort of awakening. An awakening that they've been in denial this whole time, that they've not been happy, that they just thought, this is life. This is life. You're meant to be in an unhappy marriage, raising children. You put the children before you. It just is what it is. It's not always how life works. I'm not saying it's wrong. But I'm, I'm saying that's not always how life works. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. You don't have to be in an unhappy relationship or connection. You don't. You can be with a person who fulfills you. What else I say? Children. Children are important. Ugh, I thought children are a factor. Y'all, I'm on point today. My meditations are working. This is interesting. Let's get one of the, these cards. I love these. These are beautiful. Give us something for Pisces and this crush. There's a conversation this person's wanting to have with you, but they don't feel like they can have it right now with you. The timing's not right. Yeah. Take your time. Pressure from others or yourself can be released by renegotiating what you're trying to accomplish. They got pressure from someone again. And do you remember how I said you guys were going to probably take things slow? There's an advantage in taking things slowly. Breathe deeply and fully as you consider your options. Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Um, ooh, let's do some homemades. Homemades, please. Thanks. Universe, spirits, gods, angels, give us some of their thoughts, their feelings. What's going on with the secret crush? What are they thinking and feeling? What are they thinking and feeling? What are they thinking and feeling? So this is interesting. I regret not seeing your worth come out in the reverse. So I feel like this person has seen your worth from the get-go. Again, I feel like they have so much emotion for you. It's like intense for them. Y'all are separated in the reverse. So you're definitely not separated. I still have our messages. So they keep your messages. Again, I feel like this could be somebody that you talk to, a friend, somebody. There's somebody around you who you just chat with. Yeah, the way you make me feel scares me. I'm trying to wait for the right time. It's time to heal the past. And I feel like it's time to let go of the past. Needing to realize that they weren't the problem, that they were settling. And they're settling or they were settling for someone that was very toxic. They could have been with a narcissist, to be 100% honest. And I feel like, again, they accepted a second chance and they regret accepting a second chance or taking someone back or investing again. I will be calling you. There's definitely a karmic invested in here. I feel like they're letting go of a karmic. 
whether it be a karmic they have a kid with, because I'm seeing that strongly. I realize how much I love you. Yes, I'm realizing it. A lot of epiphanies here. A lot of epiphanies. And the more that they're realizing things, the easier it is to let go of this past. Heart to heart conversation. Yeah, see, that's interesting. I was scared it was lust and not love. So maybe they were just scared that they were just attracted to you and that was it. But they're realizing it's more. That they're enjoying the conversations and getting to know you and seeing you and building something stably with you. And when we build a connection with somebody, we start by talking, texting, Snapchatting, whatever. All of us are different. FaceTiming. Then it gradually goes up. Some of us jump steps because that's who we are. It is what it is. But usually you gradually build. And I feel like that's how you and this person is going to be. I feel like there will be a friendship here. Getting to know each other. One of you is going to open up a lot more. And then somebody else is finally going to say, okay, I need to tell you everything I've not been telling you. Everything I've had going on. Everything I've hidden from you. There's a lot you don't know. Again, like I've said. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, we're going to leave that here. Have a blessed day.